by this point of the season, what can a coach reasonably expect from his players? First of all, Kevin, I don't know any coaches who are reasonable. <laughs> but as far as what to I expect... I always thought you were reasonable, by the way. <laughs> well, thank you very much. So did I, but my players didn't. So, you know, but we can expect players to execute the system that you have in place. They are professional athletes. And if they don't understand what they're doing or can't execute it, you can't play them. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. Before in the five, it's Gordon and Jokic. At the guard spots, we'll see Westbrook and Murray. And it's Foot at the three. Now Murray. Paul George missing for long range. Gordon finds Murray. Jokic inside. Working on Drummond. Jokic with the bucket. Well, what really makes Jokic special inside isn't just his size, but his gracefulness. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I was able to talk with Nick Nurse for a minute. Now I asked him if he has any plan for dealing with the multi-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He said it's all about balance. If you defend Jokic too aggressively, he'll just kick it out to other guys too softly, and he'll kill you inside. So balance is the key. Sounds like a tough balancing act to pull off, guys. Okay, David, thanks. Nikola Jokic. Well, Jokic often likes to pass from that spot, but he can also hit the jump shot. We know very few players in the league stand can put up points with the ease that Michael Porter Jr. has done. One of the prettiest shots in the league, Kevin. He's got great size, he's got that high release, and he gets it off quick. When he's shooting it well, he can take over a game. And he rebounds well, too. He does other things in addition to scoring. Well, that's where he's really improved doing those other things. Now, Jackson following the three-point attempt by Jamal Murray. Outside, George. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. George has got five points so far. Westbrook up top. He's covered by Max. Back to Westbrook. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Here's Jokic. It's Drummond with the rebound. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Well, this team trusts Jackson with the ball. Good decision making. The Nuggets trail by three. And we have a timeout called by Michael Malone. He's ready to talk things through with the team. Standings out west already were in December. A look at the Nuggets. They're sitting eighth right now in the early going. And I think for Denver, what a lackluster start to the season it, it's been for them. Where are the championship contenders that we've grown accustomed to see? Well, with that said, they could be a sleeping giant. If they can get it together, watch out. And here are the Nuggets now. They trail by three. Gordon against Martin to stop the run. And the basket by Gordon. Gordon. Well, he's not an elite three-point shooter, but Gordon makes just enough threes to be a threat from out there. George passes to Drummond. Down low, here's Jackson. Nice pass. Run him to the run perfectly for the layup. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Westbrook against Maxey. Murray kicks to Westbrook. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Defense does just enough to alter that shot. And you look at this year's Denver team, they'll break trying to get more from their bench than they did last year. Yeah, and you just don't want your starters to play so many minutes that they get gassed in the postseason. That's something Denver's trying to avoid this time around. Easier said, though, than done. Here's Jokic. Paul George making his last shot. It's good. Nikola Jokic just got Nikola. his third basket of the night right there. 
man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percent. Axie passes to George. Back to Maxi. Plays it up and punks it in. Not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Outside, Gordon. Murray against Jackson. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Over Drummond. Misses off the left eye. I think he got the shot he wanted inside, but somewhere on the play, he just lost focus. Drummond. Kicks it out to Maxi. George looking around. Shot clock at six. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the button. George has got 11 points. And it's Michael Malone calling time out here. Wants to regroup and go over the strategy. Jr. comes in for Martin. Oubre is checked in for Reggie Jackson. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Maxi. And then for Denver, Sharch is checked in for Jokic. Aiden Watson comes in for Aaron Gordon. And Christian Brown subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Sharch finds Porter. Back to Sharch. For three, a shot goes in. First shot, first basket. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The 76ers leading by three. It's stolen by Sharks. Here's Porter. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And making it look easy. Even with aggressive coverage, Porter Jr. finds a way to score. George against Porter. Takes the 13-footer, and the 76ers tack on two more. Really well done there. Just confident and composed, never in a hurry. Lowry against Murray. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Nice move. Shot is good off the bat, rim and in. Yeah, that's tough to stop. Murray loves showing off that handle whenever he can. Murray against Lowry. Outside, George. Embiid with the screen on Porter. The three from George. It's hauled in by Michael Porter. Denver's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Down low, guarded by Embiid, and stolen by Kyle Lowry. Pass to Oubre. Back to Lowry. And the last second attempt is not going for him. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for the 76ers. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. been a fairly close game through the first quarter and we'll see what happens here in the second all right we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far a scoring breakdown for philadelphia well yeah early on the mid-range jumpers have been an important part of their attack they're going old school and on top of that they've been asserting themselves offensively getting a good chunk of their points from inside we've got joel Embiid, Harry out there with tyrese maxi 
then there's Oubre and it's Martin in at the four man position. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And you do not want to be on the receiving end of that. MB throwing it down with some fun. And you know, guys, with him being on the floor, it's not just about his individual play, he changes everything for everyone on that team. That's how dominant he is. It's not just statistics. His presence alone propels that. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Kevin, Michael Porter Jr. was the number one ranked player in high school, but a back injury changed things. He said, my potential may look different now, but as long as I can truly say that what I had, I gave it my all, that's all that success should be defined by. Kevin, he grounds himself in gratitude and the work he's put in. Thanks, D.A., he is a worker and living the dream. And a big part of perimeter defense, Greg, avoiding screens. What are some of the tricks of the trade in that regard? Well, sometimes you have to get skinny. I mean, other times it's using your strength. A lot goes into it. Also, you know, getting a cadence for the screener. It's one of the more challenging aspects of NBA defense. Now here's Westbrook. Scoreless thus far. Pass to Brown. Five on the clock. And Jarich kicks to Watson. For Martin. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. Really consistent with their aggression. In that game, we saw very few lulls from an intensity standpoint. Yeah, it was an all-around excellent performance, and one I'm sure they'd like to replicate tonight. And MB being assertive offensively, wasting no time in getting that one. Westbrook against Maxi. Westbrook can't get it to go. You know what? Those are shots you just hate to miss when you get those kinds of bunnies. On and finished off by Hubert. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. Well, look, we've seen that no lead is safe these days. You got to keep scoring and extending that margin. Jamal Murray, he's checked in for Michael Porter. What's up? Free throw, good, Oubre. The Nuggets trail by 10. And we have a timeout called by Michael Malone. Looking for a breather. And maybe just one or two things to talk about. Distance bombers are setting their sights on the three-point contest this season. Here are some of the early favorites to make up the field. And, and I love the way the voting is shaping up, Kevin. We'll have an excellent contest if these are the shooters who are firing away on All-Star Weekend. You take a look at Jokic. He's got a place in the three-point contest within his reach. I hope he makes it because I know how much this would mean to him to be a part of the event. I mean, that's a good call, Kevin. He's the type of player that can really deliver on a stage like that. He'll be very dangerous if he ultimately gets in. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. Now, you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. Here's Lowry following the basket by Russell Westbrook. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. Looks a big high pounce and goes in. Maxi's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. Westbrook surveying the D. to Murray and that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook well every defense gives extra attention to Murray but they still have trouble keeping him under control and be the best to Maxi and a misplay oh this is exactly the kind of opportunity you don't want to waste here's Westbrook and the rejection by Embiid 
against Lesnar. Martin kicks to Maxi. And give credit to Maxi for just being aggressive inside, earning that whistle in the process. Well, 76ers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And he makes the first. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Martin comes in for Martin. Paul George is checked in for Kelly Oubre. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Jokic, he's checked in for Denver. Maxi hits them both. As a coach, what were some of your favorite parts, Stan, of life on the road? Well, Kevin, we get treated really well on the road in the NBA. I mean, you travel on great charters. People take care of your bags. We stay in great hotels. But my favorite part of being on the road was when we were on our way home. Easier to win at home, family at home. That was the favorite part. How about the bonding experience that a lot of coaches talk about when you're out there kind of alone against the forces, just you and your team? Well, I definitely think players bond on trips like that because they're not going in different directions. They team to spend time together. I don't think any of them ever wanted to spend time with me. <laughs> it's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Right on the bucket. Well, if Drummond's going to score, the pain is where it's going to happen. And Denver has possession. A 12-point game. And, guys, this is the first they're seeing of Philadelphia this year. And, and you have to love it when there's a matchup like this. Two teams that are at the top of their respective conferences going in. This is a potential finals preview. As good as it gets early in the season. Last season, Stan, Jokic passed LeBron's all-time triple-double mark. And he did it stunningly in 813 fewer games. Yeah, now it's really possible, Kevin, that he's going to end up at the top of that triple-double list by the time his career's over. He's got the big O and Westbrook in his sights. You know, don't sell this guy short. He can do it almost any night. The amazing Nikola Jokic, Stan. How fun is this guy for us to watch every time we do a game? Yeah, he's such an interesting guy, Kevin. He's got so many skills, and he's led the league in touches but he's near the bottom in how long the ball sticks in his hand, constantly making quick decisions and passes. This guy is really like watching the best we've ever seen. I would agree. And what a quality to know where to go with the ball and the pressure will run. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Murray over Embiid, and the rejection by Embiid. So agile and seven feet. Embiid covers a lot of territory. Embiid with a screen on Murray. Embiid is just too strong inside. Well, after a silent first quarter, this is who they needed him to be. This is why you never count a guy out. Jokic with a screen on Jackson. Murray, the pass to Jokic, and it's Paul George with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. We've heard some veteran players and coaches say the league is skewing too young. Because of the salary cap, you're often forced to play some younger guys, and they don't quite have a feel for the game yet. So possibly the product suffers, but it also gives you a chance to develop these young players in your system. Denver needs to get off his shot. Deep two for Murray. Reggie Jackson with the rebound. Now, he hasn't been great this quarter. The coaches need to try to figure out a way to get him going. Maxi fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So, one free throw coming up. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. The 76ers have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them.
Free throw good, Maxi. And he didn't go to the line once in the first half. But now he's figuring out how to draw contact and get himself to the line. Here's Pickett, here's Gordon, and the rejection by Embiid. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. It's good. The assist is torn from Jackson. Embiid's got nine. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin, it's a cliche, but the Nuggets certainly have strong values. Coach Michael Malone says open and honest conversation. That's the best way to have a real team. We talk about family a lot in Morocco. Families don't always get along, but they have to communicate. All the guys that are willing to speak up, that's invaluable. Kevin? You can't put a price on it, David. Thank you. So it's Denver now. After the miss from Joel Embiid. Pass to Strother. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the first half. Philadelphia leading by 17. Now, Maxi. Nine points in the game so far. Outside for Martin. Three pointer. Snatched away. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Jackson. Into the lineup for the Nuggets. Number 31, Blanco Chanchar. And so it's Philadelphia feeling good about their 17-point lead heading into the break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Please direct your attention to center court and get ready for the fan half-court shot from the lead. They're measuring up that shot. Nice shot. Let's hear it for the participants. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Player of the Month awards are in. Let's check them out. The Eastern Conference winner, Giannis Antetokounmpo. No surprise to see Giannis take home the award. It's almost a surprise when he doesn't win it. Very impressive. Lately, he's been at his very best, which for him is as good as it possibly gets. And looking now at that first half, anything that could have gone wrong did go wrong for the Denver Nuggets. They don't want it enough. They're getting bodied up on the boards and doing nothing about it. Yeah, they get bodied up on the scoreboard as well, Shaq. It may not be their only issue, but it's a big problem. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You look at Paul George in this game, guys, he, he's been everywhere. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, I'd love to see what they drew up in the locker room because you're right. He's the problem right now. Second half is underway. Here's who Michael Malone's got on the floor. Before in the five. It's Gordon and Jokic. Then there's Peyton Watson. And it's Brown in it, the two spot. Take your focus off Maxi for one second, and he will let it fly from out there. Pass to Jokic. Here 
Chris Strother. Nothing on the board. Oh, good on the three. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. We stand thinking of how many teams could use the defensive versatility that Caleb Martin brings to a team into the floor. Yeah, look, Kevin, he's capable of guarding four positions on the floor, plays a lot bigger than his size would indicate, and gives his team a lot of flexibility with rotation. He brings such wow. great energy. Doesn't he stand off the bench? I know he has started, but his bench play can really affect the game. Yeah, and that's a great thing, too. He can start, come off the bench. This guy will give you whatever you need. And we will have a timeout called by Nick Nurse. He's made the decision. He wants to huddle up with this guy. You better keep your hands up if you've been playing with these guys over the past month because if you're open, they'll find you. Fourth, Jokic. Really been in sync with his teammates over that period. I mean, his passing has been phenomenal. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. Maxi kicks to Martin. The open shot. Maxi. Plenty of room and not the shot. Maxi's got 14. Uh, offensively, Maxi can be such a problem. He attacks you with that relentless energy. Here's Gordon. Makes it off the glass. Tossing the pass to the interior. That's what you want to do. Get into the paint. Oubre on the wing. Back to Maxi. Let's the free fly. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got six rebounds now in the game. Odd pass to Gordon. Stolen by Jackson. Maxi on the wing. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And we're seeing some big paydays for NBA head coaches these days, Stan. Uh, <laughs> do you miss it? <laughs> <laughs> Do I miss the paychecks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, payday was always really good in the NBA. No question about that. What about but now, you know, though? What about now? Well, it's gone through the roof. But look, the trade-off is the paydays are big, but there's not a great deal of job security, Kevin. And the first one drops. Second free throw, no good. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. Trailing by 19. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. Now here's Gordon. He's got five. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, you have to throw so much weight at Jokic on defense that eventually he'll just step into it and draw a foul. And it's Michael Malone calling timeout here. This will give him a chance to discuss some potential alterations. All right, let's be coming up to the court. Come on and get loud here. And with a break here, let's look at the stats for Maxi. First in free throw shooting. And with a top 20 ranking and field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands and he converts at a remarkable rate. And it's nice when you have the NBA's best free throw shooter. Just keep the ball in his hands in clutch situations. He's been completely automatic this season. First free throw is good. Well, guys, I've been around this game for a long time. And I've never seen someone like Jokic, a giant man with point guard skills. Both good from the line that time. 
a little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Now, here's Maxie. He's guarded close. Yep, that one goes. He's been very reliable tonight. Not wasting any chances. Really using his head. Here's Strother. He's covered by Maxie. Jokic against Embiid. Pocket six. Now, here's Jokic. Right defense on him. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. One on one here. Pass to Strother. At the elbow, Jokic shoots over Embiid. Jokic with the bucket. Jokic has got four points now in the quarter. The defense has had no answer for Nikola Jokic. He's getting whatever he wants out there. Back to Maxi. And slam dunk by Maxi. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a back seat for that dunk. Wow. Wow, that is an impressive vertical for a point guard. My goodness. And it's the Nuggets with the ball after the Sixers pick up two. Here's Gordon. Plays it up off the ground quarter. Gordon's got seven. Yeah, that's a strong finish there by Gordon. Right through the contact. To the inside. Jokic with the steal. Pass to Strother. Here's Brown. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Here's Strother, covered by Oubre. Offensive rebound. From deep, Jokic. Ah, Jokic, big man with the triple. Well, he's playing great tonight, but not quite well enough to carry the entire team. They need to find some other contributors. Post and B for Jokic. And the shot no good. It's short. The Nuggets trail by 14. 152 left here on the third quarter. Gordon against Martin. Jokic inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on MB. And really, Coach Van Gundy, the acquisition of Aaron Gordon for the Nuggets was one of the things that elevated them to the championship caliber team that we saw. Yeah, Kevin, he was sort of the missing piece. He's a great fit in the front court alongside of Jokic. His athleticism, his defense, his ability to score inside have really made them a great tandem. And what about his ability stand to fit in right off the bat and make a difference? You know, just about anybody can fit in playing with Jokic, Kevin. He makes the game easy. <laughs> well said. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Martin comes in for Martin. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Jackson. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The 76ers leading by 13. Side Lowry. Pass to Maxi. Back to Lowry. Now Maxi. Over Sharch. Another miss by Philadelphia. Here's Brown. Here's Pickett. Jokic with it. Now Watson. Here's Jokic, guarded by Embiid. Jokic, no good. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Back to Oubre. Embiid sets the pick for Oubre. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Oubre has got seven points. A legitimate sniper from distance. Love seeing Oubre Jr. shoot it with such precision. Here's Pickett. He's covered by Max. 
Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The Nuggets have shot a good percentage from the free throw line so far. They've made five out of six. This season, in general, has not been kind to them at the free throw line. Only about 71%. Shooting two. That one is off. Eric Gordon needs check in for the 76ers. And Denver with a change here, too. Dyson's checked in. since the second. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. Lowry looking around. Pass to Embiid. Four on the shot clock. Over Jokic. Embiid, no good. Well, the analytics don't like it. But if the defense is giving it up, I like that shot selection despite the miss. Tyrese Maxey, he's been the guy making things happen for Philadelphia. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Right back after this break. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, that's high-level playmaking. He makes it look easy, but it's not. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Patton is out there with MB. Then there's Maxi. Then there's Lowry. And it's Oubre in at the small four. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. And if anything, Westbrook gets more aggressive against contact inside. He doubles his effort level in response. From outside the arc, Charge grabs the board. The Nuggets trail by 13. Murray outside. To the middle. In deep. Is high on the rim and drops. And you can't fall asleep against Murray, especially when he's got great interior positioning. The D has got to be better. Now, here's Maxi. It's Martin on the wing. It's stolen by Sharks. Here's Brown. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Philadelphia leading by 11. Outside Lowry. Pass to Embiid. Over Jordan. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Lowry. It's just so tough to knock Embiid off the block. And that's his territory. Lowry against Murray. To the paint. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. That tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. And we will have a timeout called by Nick Nurse. Clearly, he's got something his players need to hear. And immediately. The 76ers making the switch here. Jackson's checked in. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse told his team. While the team is up, coach doesn't want his team to let up. He told the team to finish this game. Do not think this will be easy. We've seen comebacks before. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Now, here's Maxi. Martin with a screen on West. There's the triple. The 76ers with another miss. The Nuggets trail by 11. Brown the pass to Murray. 
Sharks with the screen from her. Jacks up a three. And the rebound goes to Martin. Martin's got four rebounds now tonight. Maxie on the wing. He's covered by Westbrook. Shoots from the baseline. Maxie, no good. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. A great fourth quarter. Just giving up two points. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession. And let's see what Denver has coming up on Tuesday. They'll be matching up against Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns. Then on Monday, they'll be taking on Klay Thompson and the Dallas Mavericks. Yabu Sele, he's checked in for Kenyon Martin. And Denver with a change here, too. Gordon's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Fourth quarter of play, we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Outside for Murray. Just five to shoot. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Philadelphia leading by 11. Oubre outside. Outside, Maxi. 76ers moving the ball around. And they double up and B. From eight. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And what a take by Jackson. And he's almost automatic at the line. So you might as well add that next one. Guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for Philadelphia? Well, they've really been sharing the basketball. All coaches talk about that, try to get their teams to do it. It's really great when you see it in action. And I'll tell you, the energy they've shown in the open floor, boy, it has been terrific, doing a phenomenal job converting in those situations. That one misses from Jackson. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, putting some physicality there behind his motion. Porter Jr. attacking the inside. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Well, as a three-level scorer, Porter Jr. remains a key part of this team's offense and how they run their sets. And he's good on the second. Philadelphia leading by 12. Drummond with a screen on court. The three from George. Rebound by the Nuggets. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Murray. Inside, Jokic. And Jokic throws it down hard. Nice play by Jokic, so crafty in pick and roll. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Philadelphia has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Drummond is just to Jackson. Shot from 12, and that's good for two. Jackson's got four points this quarter. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no part of a comeback in this one. Well, this is how you shut the door, right? You keep making good shots, and you build the lead. Now, here's Jokic. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Jackson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. They've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. And 
and that one falls for Jackson. Well, I had a chance to coach Reggie Jackson in Detroit. He's very good at running an offense, and he brings toughness to this team as well. And so Jackson nails both of them. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Pass to Jokic. Over Drummond. Oh, and that one had the right Nicola. spin on it, and it is good. Jokic has got 22. Thing burns some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. And we will have a timeout called by Nick Nurse. He's clearly intent on wanting to lock in and make sure everyone's on the same page. Again, can't hit it. Two minutes remaining in the game. Here's Brown. Now, Jokic defended by Drummond. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Drummond, and so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the 76ers. Shooting two. The first one falls. In both. We've got 148 left in the fourth. Pass to Embiid. Over Jokic. Intimidating move. Embiid. And, and Embiid practices these shots all the time, which is why he's so good from this area. Bounce pass for Westbrook. Jokic against Embiid. And it's Jokic missing. The 76ers leading by 12. Pass to Embiid. Scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. And these are the types of games Nuggets where one team final. clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the 76 A beautiful pass doesn't always get you on the highlight reels, but there were some spectacular dishes in this game. You know what? It was a team that was in sync and just trusted one another to take the right shots. And now, for the year, this is going to take him to seven wins. And we watched him all night long. No one could really stop him. Just another excellent game it was for Joel Embiid. Well, he was all about the rim protection in this one. His defensive presence was felt from the get-go. Pass to Jokic. Shoots over Embiid. And he overshot that one, missing. For Philadelphia, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Back to Martin. And here's Embiid. Over Westbrook. 
and B, no good. Westbrook against Embiid goes up and lays it nice and easy. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. Maxi kicks to George. Embiid inside. He's against Jokic. Yes, that goes in. And the 76ers lead by 14. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. Well, I'd be lying if I said the crowd doesn't have an impact. It certainly felt from the head coach all the way down. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And this is what they came out to do.